What's the objective of this project? The objective of this fifth grade project is our fifth grade has been creating floor plans with furniture for a 21st century library for Centerville Elementary. We will use our, the principles of architecture and interior design to solve these design problems. Although we already have a nice big library, it does not meet our 21st century standards. The biggest one being that we don't have enough technology. We would like to transform our library into a multifaceted learning space for the entire school community. The library will not only be a place to check out books, but it could be used for all kinds of learning. This redesign will make our library a fun and exciting place for our students to collaborate with other peers from other classrooms. We don't often get to do this. Our classrooms aren't big enough for us to combine classes, but with the library, it is big enough for us to combine our classes. We're trying to turn our library into a makerspace. A makerspace is a space where students can come together to create, learn, and invent things. Once we design our proposal, we are presented to our client. Our client is Smith Smith. Our, our proposals will include visuals of our design. My group has been using Google SketchUp to design our 21st library layout. But before we could, we could go on Google SketchUp, we have to draw the layout first. And because the library is so big, we have to cut it in sections and measure the area of all of them with this. This is a measuring wheel. We measured each section with this measuring wheel. It has a gauge and it measures in feet and inches. Um, my name is Mr. McCormick, and I was, I've was i an intern in Mr. Moyetson's class, and for the past couple weeks I've been helping out Miss Nikki with her STEM class, and um, I worked with the layout group. Um, Google SketchUp is a little confusing at first, and the kids kind of knew what they were doing, but they weren't like, they couldn't do it on their own, but once I explained things to them, they like really, they grasped it well, and they could like even explain it to other people after a couple days, so I think they did a really good job once they got the hang of it. So Jalen and Sarah, how's your project coming along? Um, our project's coming together really good. And we, I came up with some survey questions to ask the teachers because they're going to be using it the most. So we went around and got some answers from some teachers in classes. What is one thing that you would like to have in the library that would make your visit to the library better? Comfy furniture, technology, and more books were some of the askings, but some we didn't write on paper was one teacher said, those bean bags are dead, we need to get new ones. Miss Nikki got us some paint samples from Home Depot. That's when we decided on choosing the color Bayou Blue. We found out that red was a very intense color, so we chose no, but then blue said that it was peaceful and tranquil and it causes the body to produce common chemicals. Okay, so we took a look at a lot of different paint samples. Let's do process of elimination. I think we should vote on our colors. Let's put our paper cups down and vote. All right, so picking the paint was really overwhelming because it was so much colors to really pick from, so we just decided to pick two colors. In the beginning, we couldn't agree on a color, 
but what we learned from working on this project is that we have to compromise and respectfully listen to each other's ideas. Hello, we're the Pink Group, and we were in charge of finding the furniture for the new library. Uh, we all brainstormed and came up with ideas for the, new, for the library. We looked at websites such as Ikea, Amazon, Target, and Spitzen. We got um, furniture that was really creative for the Legos um, and shelves and cubbies for the makerspace. We are the technology team and we were responsible for researching technology for our library makerspace. We are getting high and low tech technology for our library to make it more fun for learning. Some high tech th things that we got were the Mac, the Kindle, and the TV. Some low tech things we got were Connects, Legos, and digital clocks. Some of the websites we searched on were Amazon, Apple, and Best Buy. Having low tech and high tech technology will make our li library a better space to live. Okay, Maddie, what was your favorite part of this project? Um, my favorite part of the library project was was working with my team and and choosing all the different furniture from all the different sites and and and, and in the beginning exploring Google SketchUp. My my favorite part about working with this project was Google SketchUp because you could um build the three D you could build three D models. Um, the best part about working with my team was looking at furniture that was cheap and creative. My favorite part about the library project is doing the PowerPoint because it's fun doing all the research. My favorite part of the library project was choosing the paint color because it was really cool and fun. And I really liked how an architect came in when we got to actually meet one. And I liked learning about his job and seeing the blueprints. When Mr. Randall came in, he showed us some blueprints that I thought were really cool of different libraries that he's done. Um, I think my favorite part of the library project was just working together with everyone and being able to do something good for the school. Working on the marketing and advertising team was a good experience because I got to work with people that I don't normally work with, like Alyssa, Emily, and Casey. What I liked about this project was finding solutions to our problems as a team. Like Antonio said, we're finding solutions, and one of the problems we, we had was the budget. The budget was really hard because for the library, it would be fun to just put lots of things in it, like furniture and comfy things where kids can just relax and read. When we went on Best Buy and other stores, there were so many cool things we could buy, but we had to remember our budget. Kids don't buy anything really from stalls besides candy. It was interesting to learn about how much technology costed in real life. Through this project, I learned what a makerspace was because I didn't really know what it was before, but now that I know, it is a space where kids can get together and get creative. Basically, what I learned from this library project is basically the complexity of certain tasks, like measuring the perimeter, and after you get that, measuring it in Google SketchUp, and having every other group come to you and move things around. It's just basically a teamwork exercise, and I think it would be really good for all schools to do this. I learned from this project is that it's hard for marketing and advertisement for to get the buzz going for um, kids to get excited about reading. My mom is a graphic designer, and this is how and this is how her company worked as well. Because my dad is a carpenter, it inspired me to work harder in this project. What I liked about this project was that it was real and you didn't have to follow it from a textbook. I'm so excited for this project. I can't wait for this project to come to life. Um, here is our new design of the library. This redesign. <laughs> we are 
the technology team and we were responsible for getting technology for our library makerspace. Our high and low technology. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get up. Somebody started Dude. laughing. It was Jack. No. This job was like working. This project was like working. <laughs> Hello, we're the Pink Group, and for our redesigning of the library, we were... Please, I need gasoline, 